What's up, family? Three out of the four uncivilized mutts convicted of murdering ex Thanthashian has learned their fate, with the judge sentencing them to life in prison. I ain't got no problem with that. Lock them up. Lock them up. Lock them up and throw away the key. We got to get used to punishing all uncivilized mutts who bring harm to members of our community. Now, who are these uncivilized mutts? Michael Boatwright, Trayvon Newsom, and Derek Williams. They were all previously found guilty of murder in the fatal 2018 shooting. Robert Allen, the fourth man arrested for the murders, pled guilty to second-degree murder. He has not been sentenced yet. Remember, ex was only 20 years old when he had his life cut short in June of 2018 caught me completely off guard. I was just getting into his music. And boom, I was looking at dude like, man, he's one of the bright stars of the game. Like, he got it. I'm talking about very good with the lyrics, well-spoken, has some insight that most 40-year-olds don't have, 50-year-olds don't have. Dude was sharp. We really could have used him. But look who we left with, fam. A bunch of nothings. That's how it is, man. The nothings strikes again. So, what did they take? They hit him for $50,000. He was at a motorcycle dealership. And he had 50,000 racks in a Louis Vuitton bag. This is according to police. So they took the bag and took his life. They took his bag and they took his life. I'm thinking that he fought for that bag. It looked like that was a struggle, so he fought for the bag, which was a bad idea. Let me tell you something, fam. When somebody got the ups on you, it's okay. Let them make it. If, if your life is not in danger or if, if your life is going to depend on it, then let them make it. Now, if you ain't got no choice, you got to do what you got to do. But if you feel that you can survive by just letting them have what they want, let them have it, man. The money can be replaced. The man had enough money, he could just went right, he could have went back and forth to the bank 20 times, 50 times. The youngster was paid. That BMW that he got killed in was only one of a fleet of cars. The boy had a ghost, he had a G Wagon, a Lamborghini, and some other stuff. Man, let him have it. And if, you know, you can use it as a, as a stepping stone, you know, lesson learned, make sure you're not caught slipping, or you can decide to use it as a stepping stone and do what you got to do to make sure, you know, justice is served. You know what I'm talking about? Yeah, you know, but you got to be smarter than that, fam. Most people with a gun in their hand subscribe to the theory that I'm the boss. I got the gun. I'm the boss. Now, the scary thing about a person with a gun trained on you is that person has your life in their hands. It just depends on whether they want to squeeze that trigger or not. They, got, they can just 
decide to squeeze the trigger and your life is over just like that. So why take a chance? Like, why roll the dice with your life? Why? I'd rather roll the dice with giving them the money and hoping I can get the money back someday. You can always get money. You can't always get a new life. So they took the bag and 50 racks. And it wasn't long before the police caught up with them. Because, you know, a lot of these guys also today, they're, they're running in crews. They're running in crews, and obviously, you know, snitching is cool now, so the first one get popped, he ratting. All of them, they ratting, fam. The hardest one in the group that you think ain't going to rat, he's going to be the main one ratting, because it's all about self-preservation, and they are ratting. I would, yeah, hopefully I wouldn't be in the position to be a jack boy in the first place, but... I just wouldn't want a jack in this day and time. <laughs> you know, you're going to get jammed up. And then also, not just the, 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 the snitching part, it's the whole surveillance stuff going on. It's hard to do anything and not be seen, not have a camera pick it up. And sometimes cameras are located in the most inconspicuous places. And then sometimes they're like right there in plain sight and you can't even see it because there's so much other stuff around it. It's right there. Which is how they caught through with them. They looked at the surveillance footage and they put two and two together. And they just started. And see, that's the thing. Anytime you commit a crime, if the police want to solve a crime, they can solve pretty much any crime if they really wanted to. Because all they got to do is start at the scene. Start at the scene of the crime and work their way back and forward. Just start widening the net on checking surveillance footage around the area. So you check right there where everything is, where it went down. Check there first. And then you start going to the next business, the next business, the next home, the next building, and the next... Uh, the next signal lights, next stop signs, whatever. They, a lot of these uh, public places, signal lights and stop signs, they have cameras, bridges, cameras. They're everywhere. Big Brother is always watching. It is very difficult to get around it. And you got your cell phone. If they pick you, if they say, he probably did it, or if somebody say you did something, they check your cell phone records, boom, your cell phone gonna tell on you. Look at the expression on these guys' faces. They got that look like, damn, I messed up. Life is over. It's three hots and a cot. That's it. For the next I don't know how many years. Life going to be so different. If you think life is different today, life is going to be so different by the time they get out, if they ever get out. Look at these dudes. And I can guarantee you, before they were captured, well, you've seen it, fam. They were on Instagram, all on the internet, flexing, showing off the $100 bills from the robbery. So they thought it was funny. It was all good. Until they heard that knock, knock, knock. Yeah, it was all good until they got knocked. So once again, fam, you got a bunch of cats trying to make money the easy way by trying to take somebody else's. Messed around and took a life that they can't give back. And now they have to exchange their wrongdoing for their freedom. That's a hard pill to swallow. Say it with me, fam. Play stupid games, win stupid prizes. R.I.P. Extentacion. No more talk. 
what the mate is talking about.